In this video, we solve a typical IB Math Studies exam question, which involves arithmetic sequences. Now, we're told that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the formula un equals to 13 minus 4n. And we're asked to write down the values of the first two terms of this sequence, and we're asked what is the sequence's common difference. Finally, we're asked to calculate this sequence's 30th term. So let's get started. To write down the first two terms of the sequence, what we need to do is use the formula that's given. We're told that un, the nth term, equals to 13 minus 4n. Well, the first term corresponds to the case where n equals to 1. So replacing n by 1 in this formula, we find the first term, u1, equals to 13 minus 4 times 1. That, in turn, leads us to u1 equals to 13 minus 4. Finally, u1 equals to 9. For the value of the second term of the sequence, that's u2, we replace n by 2 and calculate it. So that would be u2 equals to 13 minus 4 times 2, leading us to u2 equals to 13 minus 8, which finally leads us to the value of the second term, u2 equals to 5. Okay, the next question b, we're asked what is the common difference of this sequence? Well, when we write un equals to 13 minus 4n, the common difference is always the number multiplying the n. So in this case, it's negative 4. And we can go right ahead and now say that d, the common difference, is equal to negative 4. Another way we could have showed this is by using the fact that the common difference, d, is equal to u2 minus u1. And that's equal to 5 minus 9, which is equal to negative 4. And there we go. Finally, question C, we're asked to calculate the sequence's 30th term. Well, to do that, we replace n by 30 in our formula. So that would be u30 equals to 13 minus 4 times 30. That leads us to 13 minus 120. Finally, we find u30 is equal to negative 107. And there we have it. 